This is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional, and this is the weekly angel card reading for August 13th through August 19th, 2018. Happy, happy. Happy last week of Mercury Retrograde. Yay! And there's also going to be an Angel Portal Day this week, 8-18-18. Super excited about that. And so we're going to be working with the Angel Therapy Oracle cards this week by Doreen Virtue. I just love that image of Raphael sending Reiki and angel energy. So empowering. And so the question this week is, what angel therapy action steps can help you take back your power and invite new levels of angelic ease and flow? Especially in that last week of Mercury retrograde. So we're going to be day 20 through day 25. So as we begin the week on Monday and Tuesday, the angel therapy action step is solar plexus chakra. Which is just a perfect message and so the message is it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways the angels wish to help you with the karmic issues concerning power and control have you given your power away to a person a situation or a painful past event First, your celestial team of angels and allies place their hands on your solar plexus chakra and reassure you that you are powerful. You are made in the image and likeness of your creator and you embody all the divine qualities including feeling powerful, graceful, and filled with ease. Your solar plexus chakra is the energy center that stores your will, your power, and your ability to forgive and feel peace. Your true power lies in stepping into new levels of angelic ease and flow. The issue in the tissue of stress, tension, powerlessness, and even the karma of anger and self-judgment block your ability to trust your personal power and the divine flow. Through your willingness to heal your karma, you can use the angel you can use angelic alchemy to transform powerlessness and frustrations into ease, which I really love. On Monday and Tuesday, ease into feeling your inner might by trusting that you are safe to use your personal power in loving and gentle ways. The angels won't allow you to abuse your power and your friends, family, and clients who truly love you will respect and applaud your spirited words and actions. Remember that power doesn't equate to aggression. It simply means being completely authentic with yourself and others and honoring your soul flow. <clears throat> Stepping into new levels of angelic ease means knowing that no one is controlling you or can control you without your permission. You always have options and choices and your angels can help you make those decisions and create healthy boundaries, healthy boundaries if you ask for their help. Your celestial team of angels and allies are helping you to release the karmas or issues of stress, tension, and powerlessness, and victimhood from your solar plexus and your body, mind, and spirit while continually showing you the path of least resistance. <clears throat> Here is your angel therapy action step for Monday and Tuesday. Recline on your back in a quiet location and focus on your solar plexus chakra. This is your rib cage area with um, on the right side is the liver, gallbladder, pancreas and on the left side is the stomach and spleen. Recite this prayer either silently or out loud. Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel, I call upon you now. Please cut any cords of fear, anger and powerlessness from my solar plexus to anyone who I might have given my power away to. Beautiful, then inhale and exhale deeply. As Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel disentangle you from those who you have feared were controlling you. Complete this process by saying, Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel, please give me the courage to take complete responsibility for every aspect of my life and trust the path of ease and flow.
And so the crystal to work with on Monday and Tuesday is a fire crystal called Malachite and um, for will. And the affirmation is, I align my personal will with divine will. So this is such an awesome, healing, powerful fire crystal. I just love this piece, my buddy Chuck. It's another smaller piece. So you can wear this crystal, you can hold the crystal while you meditate. And to keep your solar plexus nice and open and clear, especially on Monday and Tuesday. So <clears throat> as we move to the middle of the week, um, the angel therapy action step is ear chakras. I just love this beautiful blue wings, one of my favorite colors, can you see that? And this message, this ear chakras is actually a continuation of last week's reading where we had Claire Audience and Archangel Zadkael. So I feel like it's an amplified message as we move through this Mercury retrograde um, gateway. And the messages. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. <clears throat> the karmic patterns of self-judgment and negative thoughts disempower your journey and lower your vibration. Sometimes powerlessness can show up as feeling nervous, feeling anxious, or feeling like a victim. Your celestial team of angels and allies are guiding you to take back your power through the intuitive channel of Claire Audience. They're saying, yes, you are hearing true divine guidance clearly through this auditory channel. Clear audience angel messages come in various ways, such as repetitive songs and overheard conversation, words or phrases being repeated, repeated three times or more, a stranger's out of the blue reassurances, or words that you hear in your mind. Angel messages are usually in your own voice, so they can be easy to dismiss. Remember, your angel's messages are always loving, positive, trustworthy, and constructive, and fill you with peace, ease, and relief, which I really love. Clear audience means clear hearing, and can be, uh, and can be blocked by issues in the tissues, such as childhood abuse, past negative thinking, and um, chronic stress, worry, or self-judgment, the karmas of stress, worry, and self-judgment. The ear chakra message is a call to let go of ancient worries and judgment and any fearful, stressful, or negative thinking. The angel's messages listen only to love and ease. Your angel therapy action step on Wednesday and Thursday is to clear your ear chakras using this prayer. Archangel Michael and Angel Faith, Archangel Zadkael and Archangel Amethyst, I now ask you to vacuum and clear any lower energies in my physical ears or ear chakras. I am willing to release anything painful that I have ever heard in exchange for clarity and my ability to hear the voice of love and my angels. Beautiful, breathe that in and out. And you can use that prayer as many times as you need to, especially if you get triggered or activated during the last few days of the retrograde. Um, and the crystal to work with in the middle of the week for ear chakras is a wind crystal called amethyst for divine connection. And the affirmation is, I am open to divine guidance. And what the angel said about this crystal is, I'm actually wearing a piece around my neck, um, that it's excellent for meditation, for creating a meditation practice and committing and recommitting to your meditation practice. So I wanna show you two pieces. I have my piece around my neck. <laughs> I just love this piece sparkly, deep, rich purple. I wanted to show you a kind of a neat piece, a cool piece. So here's, it's a pyramid with a copper spiral and then all these points. Oh, this is so cool for clearing the chakras. Um, solar plexus, third eye, ears, crown, heart. <laughs> it's like the ultimate chakra clearer. <laughs> And the angels are telling me to say where I got it. I got it at the Body, Mind, Spirit Expo, Expo like two years ago. Okay, thanks angels. And so as we move to the weekend, the angel therapy action step is clear yourself. <laughs> I just love this. I just love this reading this week. <laughs> and so the message is ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Your celestial team of angels and allies sees that you are carrying around some lower energies. 
because of your high sensitivity and compassion, you may have absorbed this negativity from other people's fears. These toxic energies or issues in the tissues like stress, tension, powerlessness, anger, judgment may have also sprung from your own past fears, karma, karmas, and self-judgments. Clear yourself is a strong message to use your tools to clear and cleanse your mind and energy field and return to ease. Let your intuition guide you to which tool you need to take back your power in the moment, especially during those last few days of Mercury retrograde. Maybe it's a refreshing nature walk with your crystals or a cleansing salt bath or burning sage or Palo Santo in your home or meditation space. Maybe it's self Reiki and or self IET, your, your healing energy work. Or maybe it's meditation, breath work, or gentle yoga. Whatever it is, trust your intuition and use your tools to clear your space and invite angelic ease and flow, especially on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over the weekend. It's a good idea to ask for angelic clearing whenever you've experienced harsh situations where arguing, intense competition, violence, or substance abuse has occurred. As a sensitive light worker, you sometimes unwittingly carry other people's painful energy in a well-intentioned desire to be helpful. However, it's time to lay that burden down and ask the angels, angels to shoulder this pain from now on as they are equipped to handle its radioactive, radioactive toxicity without harming themselves. Ready to clear? Here's your angel therapy action step for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Rest on your side or lean forward in a chair so that your back isn't touching any surface. Then breathe deeply and say either silently or out loud, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now Please use your divine healing magnet to lift any energies of fear, anger, powerlessness, judgment, or jealousy from my back, neck, and shoulders and solar plexus. Please help me feel compassion for those who have sent lower energies my way so that they may be healed by divine love. Thank you for clearing toxic, fear-based energies and entities from within me and around me. And then take a cleansing breath in and out. And let yourself receive Archangel Michael's help. Absolutely beautiful. And <clears throat> remember that 81818 is another angel portal day. And it's the last day of Mercury retrograde. Yay! Um, it's going to be a great time to call on all of the archangels of clearing to help you clear your body, mind, and spirit. Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Ariel, and Archangel Metaton, Metatron to clear your chakra channel and to help you release residual energy, emotional toxins, and any psychic debris. Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and karmically, which I really love. And so the crystal to work with over the weekend, you may have guessed it, is clear quartz um, for clarity. And it's a storm stone. And the affirmations are, I am clear in my thought, intent, and desire. I reflect the clarity of divine mind. And so you guys know this one. <sighs> Beautiful clear quartz. It's a cluster of clear quartz. It's like a pillar of light of clear quartz. And here's a sphere. <clears throat> this is great to have as earrings, as a, as a necklace. Um, and so, um, I just hope you have, so, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, you know, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you wanna receive more information on angelic alchemy or how to get the issues out of the tissues, please visit my website at jillkempnerhealing.com and sign up for my newsletter. And remembering the motto, all angels all the time. Um, and so I just want you to have such a beautiful week and the angel messages are saying to um, choose the path of least resistance and take back your power by listening only to love and keeping your chakras, especially your ear chakras and your solar, solar plexus chakra clear and open. Um, <clears throat> thank you so very much. I'm sending you so much love and angel blessings. Have an absolutely beautiful week and I'll see you soon.
Namaste. Namaste.